So Vijay and Raju were friends one day while on holiday exploring the forest, they saw a bear coming towards them. Now naturally, they were both frightened, so Raju, who knew how to climb trees, climbed one very, very quickly, but didn't spare a thought for his friend who had no idea how to climb. So Vijay thought for a moment he had heard that animals don't attack dead bodies, so he fell to the ground and he held his breath. The bear sniffed him, thought he was dead, and he went on his way. Now, when uh, Raju, after he had climbed down from the trees, asked Vijay, what did the bear whisper in your ear? And then Vijay replied, well, the bear asked me to keep away from friends like you. Now, friends, I really want to focus on today on how to be a great friend because these days it seems like we're all constantly running around and don't have time for anything or even anyone else. And we forget the importance of having friends and letting them know how much we care about them. So here are some tips on how to be a great friend, my friends. First thing is to remember that the best way to be a good friend is to listen. Now, great friendships require effort to build and to maintain, but many relationships become strong and long-lasting when we take the time to just simply listen. Truly being present in a conversation, hearing what other friends, what our friends have to say and allowing them the space to express their thoughts can help us form deeper and long-lasting connections that kind of begins to feel like family. Taking interest in our stories, successes, and struggles of those around us allows us to truly empathize with them and to create an atmosphere of mutual support. Now, listening without judgment or jumping to conclusions leaves rooms for an open dialogue where both parties can gain perspective on whatever they're feeling or experiencing. So at the end of the day, it's all about being understanding and being supportive and curious. That's how being a great friend starts. The second point I wanna make friend, my friends, is you have to be there for them. You have to be there for your friends, even if you, even if you don't have the same interests. And that's very, very important. There is an unparalleled level of joy that comes from sustaining friendships. But having friends with whom you don't share similar interests interests with, now it can be some of a challenge, but it's easy to connect when hobbies and seasons sync up, sync up. But in those moments when it feels like there is nothing to learn from each other, encouraging your friends, even if you aren't on the same page, would lead to memories uh, that will lead to memories that last a lifetime. Every time you choose a step um, out of what's familiar or comfortable for the sake of a friend or forge ahead together, you offer them a priceless gift, that of loyalty and companionship that endures whatever twists and turns are encountered along the journey. So show up for your friend even if you have nothing else in common. Be brave enough to take leaps together and create deeper connections that could ever have been imagined, my friend. Third point, my friends, is don't judge your friends and accept them for who they are. And they're gonna do the same for you. We all have different interests. We all have different ambitions and different backgrounds. But if we take that diversity for granted, instead of harshly judging each other, imagine how much richer our lives will be. There's a great power and in empathy and acceptance toward others. Take the time to put ourselves in someone else's shoes and openly embrace what they, what they all what they, what they all want, warts and all, as they say, can help bolster confidence, build better relationships, and make our community stronger. It might sound like a small step, however, it carries an amazing impact. So don't judge your friends, accept them for who they are. You never know what may come from it. Fourth point, my friends, is to be supportive and encourage your friends to pursue their dreams. We all have dreams and we all have aspirations that we want to achieve, but sometimes it can be hard to stay motivated. So having a supportive friend by your side can, can really make that pursuit of those dreams feel much less daunting. So be that friend for the people you care about. Encourage them to keep pushing forward and remind them why their dreams matter. Celebrate the small wins and big accomplishments with them and ask them how you can help along their journey. That kind of support can be just what they need to find the courage that they're lacking. Believe in them, as there's nothing more powerful than another individual believing in us. You never know how far it can take them. My friends, and this is the most important tip I can give you today, is 
Don't gossip about your friends behind their backs. Talking about your friends behind their backs is one of the most hurtful things you can do. Gossiping spreads rumors like wildfire, and once it's out there, it's impossible to take it back. Think of how it would make you feel if somebody was talking about you behind your back. Would you still be friends with that person? Now, friendships are based on trust and respect. So the next time you're tempted to talk trash about a friend from a place of understanding rather, rather than judgment, remember what, what's at stake and focus on being a great friend instead. Your friends, appreciate your friends and let them know how much they mean to you. Life is so much more enjoyable when we make the time to appreciate the people that are around us. Letting your friends know how, how much their friendship means to you strengthens these bonds and enhances understanding between the two of you. Show gratitude for the moments together, whether that's a text, whether it's a phone call, or just hanging out for a cup of coffee. Those conversations keep relationships alive and remind each other of, of our connections. Take a moment today and truly be mindful of your bond that you have with your friend and thank them for being such an amazing part of your life. It will not only make them feel appreciated, but will also bring joy back into the relationship and make it even stronger than you've even imagined. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed today's, cause we, today's episode because we all have friends who we love and we care about. So it's important to be the best friend that we can be. Always listen to the problems, Build them up in moments of weakness and accept them for who they are. Letting your friends know you appreciate them won't go unnoticed. A simple thank you or I'm proud of you can make all the difference. Despite disagreements, try not to gossip and focus on lifting each other up and supporting one another and showing kindness. Remember that life is too short, so cherish your friendships and create the memories that will last a lifetime. So I hope you enjoyed today's morning rounds, my friends. And if you want to take your personal or your professional life to that next level, then consider high performance coaching. I'm a certified high performance coach. And if you're interested in learning about more, what is high performance coaching, how it can help you, you know, break through that plateau that you're in right now, please consider clicking that link right beside this video or in the show notes and schedule your free one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me and we'll talk all about it and see if high performance coaching is for you. But for today, have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow morning for another morning rounds before your morning rounds. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.